What if the future of space exploration lies not in the hands of astronauts, but in nuclear power? That's a question we are grappling with as the Moon becomes the target of renewed interest from several global powers. The last human moon landing was in 1972, but that's all set to change. NASA anticipates a return as early as 2026, while China and Russia have their sights set on 2030 and 2031, respectively. But as these countries prepare to establish lunar bases, a significant issue arises. How to supply these bases with electricity? Solar panels, though useful, simply can't generate enough power for an entire base. Enter Russia and China with a bold solution. These two nations have joined forces to construct a nuclear reactor on the moon, aiming to have it operational by 2035. In this new space race, Russia and China have teamed up to tackle this problem head on. Imagine a nuclear reactor on the moon, supplying electricity to future lunar colonies. Sounds like a sci-fi movie plot, doesn't it? Well, it's about to become reality. The Russian space agency, Roscosmos, and the China National Space Administration, or CNSA, have announced a joint venture to build a nuclear reactor on the moon by the year 2035. This isn't just a lofty goal, it's a necessity. The International Lunar Research Station, a joint lunar base announced by the two space agencies, needs a reliable source of power. Solar energy, although abundant in space, has its limitations on the moon. The lunar night lasts for about 14 Earth days, during which solar panels would be useless. Hence, the need for a nuclear solution. This reactor isn't just about powering a base. It's about powering the future of lunar exploration and colonization. It's about sustaining life in a place where life has never existed. It's about turning the moon, our closest celestial neighbor, into a home away from home. This reactor, however, won't be built by astronauts with tool belts and hard hats. It won't be built by human hands at all. In a move that seems straight out of a science fiction novel, this nuclear reactor will be constructed on the moon entirely without human labor. Yes, you heard it right. Completely automated construction. But here's the kicker. This nuclear reactor will be built without human labor. Building a nuclear re reactor on the moon without human intervention sounds like science fiction, right? But this isn't a plot from a sci-fi novel. It's the ambitious plan of Russia and China's space agencies who are pushing the boundaries of what's technologically feasible. The challenges are immense, starting with the cooling of the nuclear reactor. On Earth, nuclear reactors are cooled using large amounts of water, but on the moon, where water is scarce, a different solution must be found. This could potentially involve using lunar soil or developing a new method entirely. Another hurdle is the construction of the reactor itself. The idea is to build it without human labor, a task that would require the use of advanced robotics and automation technologies. This isn't as far-fetched as it may seem. After all, we already have robots exploring Mars and working in our factories back here on Earth. In addition to the reactor, Russia and China have also announced plans to build a nuclear-powered cargo spacecraft. This would be a game-changer, enabling the transportation of large loads from one orbit to another and potentially even the collection of space debris. But it's not just Russia and China eyeing nuclear power for lunar expeditions. NASA too has plans to place a smaller fission reactor on the moon by 2030. As we stand on the brink of a new era in space exploration, it's clear that nuclear power is poised to play a pivotal role. So, what does all this mean for the future of space exploration? Well, these de developments are game-changing, to say the least. The joint venture between China and Russia to build a nuclear reactor on the moon 
isn't just about supplying electricity. It's about setting the stage for permanent lunar colonies. Imagine a time when the moon isn't just a celestial body we gaze at, but a place where humans live, work, and explore. This project is also a testament to the leaps and bounds we're making in technology. Building a nuclear reactor on the moon, remotely, no less, is no small feat. It underscores the vast potential of automated technology and the role it'll increasingly play in space exploration. And let's not forget the role of nuclear power. With the limitations of solar power on the moon, nuclear energy is proving to be a viable, robust alternative. As we gaze up at the moon, we're not just looking at our closest celestial neighbor, we're looking at the future of space exploration.